WTM. This is a Local 24 Breaking News Alert. Breaking news tonight in the saga surrounding Tigers star player James Wiseman. Today, the NCAA handed him a 12-game suspension. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Now, Wiseman must also give back the amount of money that Penny Hardaway gave his family to move to Memphis, $11,500. And he will have to give it to a charity of his choice. Take a look at this tweet that was sent out by the NCAA this afternoon. Part of the 12-game suspension is for Wiseman competing in three games while in Eligible. And local 24 sports reporter Clayton Collier, he joins us now. And, you know, Clayton, this seems like it was much more of a harsher penalty than what the average person would expect. Absolutely it was. According to the NCAA's rules and their matrix of how much of a benefit it was, it was expected to be maybe somewhere in the 9 to 10 range, so 12, a little bit beyond what we were expecting. That'll take him out of a lot of big games for non-conference season, mm -hmm. some of the biggest games for the Tigers' schedule. We're talking about Tennessee. We're talking about Ole Miss this Saturday, absolutely. Uh, Georgia, the NC State game, and then the first two games of conference play as well. So this is a big hit for the Tigers, but they do get him back is the silver lining that he will be back this season at all. Now, we learned a few minutes ago that uh, the University of Memphis plans to appeal the mm -hmm. suspension. So I'm asking you, what is the track record typically when schools do this? Uh, how, what's the likelihood of success here? Right. Well, looking at recent precedent over at Ohio State with Chase Young, he had an eligibility issue as well. Initially, it was four games. Ohio State appealed and got it down to two games. But the major difference between these cases is Ohio State ended up bending the knee and resting their ineligible player uh, or somebody with an eligibility mm -hmm. issue. Memphis did not do that. And that is a problem here with the NCAA that will need to be rectified because ultimately when Memphis decided to sit James Wiseman, uh, there still needs to be the rectifying of that the NCAA is the ultimate power. Memphis challenged that when they decided that they were going to play James Wiseman and now Sports Illustrated is reporting that there is likely a major infractions case being built against Memphis as well. So this is not the end. As you saw in that NCAA statement, it said for the impermissible benefit. It made no mention of that. So this is a whole other end of it that could be coming for Memphis as well. All right, more totally to come. A, yeah, a story to follow. You'll bring us more coming up in sports. Thank you, Clayton. Thank you, Clayton. Okay. Well, Clayton uh, and us and all of us uh, broke this story on uh, our local app. And as the story unfolds, you can look for more updates. You can download it right now from Apple Store or Google Play.